Hi, my name's Pete Smith, and I'm a forester and an arborist for the Arbor Day Foundation. And we're here to talk today about winter pruning for some of our landscape trees. What I'm gonna to demonstrate today are what I call the ABCs of pruning. And the A stands for assess. So we're gonna take a look at the tree and try to make some judgments about how healthy is the tree? Has it been growing at a fast pace or a slow pace? We're gonna look at the setting that the tree is growing in. Is it in a place where people travel frequently? Or is it in a place where we can have a more natural form? And then we're gonna talk about the species of the tree. We wanna to try to maximize the natural form that every species has. And we can do that through some of our pruning. One important step in assessing the tree as we move around it from side to side would be we want to find the central leader for the specimen. What is the branch that is going straight up through the center of the tree trying to reach the sky? So the B in our ABCs of pruning stands for bad branches. And by bad, we're talking about branches that are dead, or they're damaged in some way, or they may even be diseased. And we wanna focus on those branches first as a priority for our pruning cycle on this particular tree. So one branch on this tree that we have that is very damaged is uh, what is this branch right here, and it's competing with our main central leader that we've already established in this tree. And it's got uh, some dead bark on one side, it's got a bad branch angle, so this is definitely a bad branch that we're going to want to remove. So finally, we have the C's in our ABC's of pruning, and that C stands for competing branches. Now you remember that we identified the central leader of the tree during our assessment. And we wanna take a look at all the other branches that might be competing with that leader and those become candidates for removal or reduction. So here's a situation where we do have a, a bad branch. This is where we have two branches that are actually in contact so here's a situation where we're just gonna remove this branch and we're gonna to try to cut right outside the branch collar. So one of the branches that uh, we identified early on, that's one of our bad branches and we're gonna go ahead and remove this right here. So now you can plainly see what remains is that central leader that we identified early on. That becomes the real focal point for this tree. Now the next step in this uh, ABCs of pruning involves looking at our competing lateral branches. So here we have a branch that's coming off the trunk of the tree and immediately the most vigorous part of this branch goes straight up and is actually trying to draw energy away from the central leader and create its own leader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another reduction cut on this competing lateral by taking off this particular portion of it above my hand and leaving what remains, and that'll slow down the growth of this particular branch. Now I've got one more competing lateral that I really want to try to diminish using one of our reduction cuts because this one is definitely competing with our central leader for this tree. So thanks for watching, and remember, if you have questions, let us know.